Hello again. Welcome to another edition of Computers 101. I figured that we're long overdue for another fantastic freeware feature, so I chose to base this video on Microsoft Virtual PC. We will begin by pointing the browser to www.microsoft.com slash windows slash products slash win family slash virtual PC slash default dot mspx and wow that was a mouthful but after you're done all that typing or after you clicked on the handy link that I provided you can just click this second link down here it says get free download and finally scroll down a little ways until you see download virtual PC it says to get virtual PC downloaded the via, downloaded via the Microsoft download sensor. So we'll just click that link and then it'll redirect us to the download center page. Scroll down another little ways all the way down until you see files in this download. Now if you have a 32-bit distribution of Windows, you click the first download. Or if you have the rarer 64-bit, more powerful version of Windows, you can click the second download button. So I'm running on a 32-bit version of Vista. So I'll click the first download button right here. The file size is 30.4 megabytes, so depending on your speed of the connection, the time to take the download will vary. So we'll just save the file. I decided to omit the installation process since it doesn't really differ from other Windows programs. So after the installation process is complete and you checked off the box to display a program icon on the desktop, you'll see this icon right here that says Microsoft Virtual PC. This is what the icon looks like in Vista. In Windows XP, it'll be slightly smaller, but no matter what version of Windows you run, the icon will look like this. So we'll just give this icon a double click. The Virtual PC Console. Now I've already got two distributions that I created, one for FreeSpire, which is a version of Linux, and one for Windows XP which I can run on top of Windows Vista. But supposing you want to create a new machine, which by default these instances will not be here after the install. So we'll just select New, and this is the Virtual PC New Machine Wizard. You just hit Next. You got options to create a new virtual machine, use your default settings to create a virtual machine, or add an existing virtual machine if you already have an existing virtual hard drive in place that is a .vmc file so after a new installation you'll want to create a new virtual machine so this is the first option create a virtual machine you hit the next button you give your virtual machine a name and you can call it Windows XP and virtual machine has a neat feature that allows it to pre-select the operating system if you type in a keyword uh, which is able to associate itself with a certain pre preset option and it also gives you some default hardware settings which you can mess around with later so we'll hit the next button again you have the choice to use the recommended RAM for a Windows XP install or adjust the RAM accordingly your only limit is the amount of RAM that you have on the system. You can't use more RAM that you currently have on your existing system without the virtual PC. So it's recommended that you use the recommended RAM. So we'll hit next. And we'll just check off this second radio button that says a new virtual hard disk. Hit next again. And you can decide where 
you want the virtual hard disk to exist. This is the full path name. And at the very end of the last slash is the name of the Windows virtual hard disk. Dot VHD. VHD stands for virtual hard disk. Lastly, you hit next and then finish. Now after you click the finish button out of the new virtual PC wizard, you will return to the virtual PC console window. And your new virtual hard disk instance will appear right here in this window. So next we hit start. Now normally you won't have the distribution installed yet. So if you have, make sure you have the distribution either available on a CD-ROM disk or as an ISO image. So you can select these two options. Use physical disk drive E if you have your operating system on a CD-ROM disk or you can capture ISO image and select where your ISO exists on your hard drive. But since I already have the operating system installed, we can continue with the boot. And it just boots normally as any power on self test would and I terminated this early so I can just hit select window start windows normally. And the familiar Windows XP startup splash screen will appear. We'll give that a few moments to load. And the screen will become larger depending on what resolution you have the virtual PC set on. Personally, I have mine set on 1024 by 768. So to capture your mouse, you may notice that we have two mouse instances here. To capture your virtual PC mouse, you just simply click anywhere on the virtual PC screen. And it will capture the mouse for you. Now to release that capture, you just hold down your right alt button next to your taskbar. And Windows will start up as it normally does on an XP machine. Once again, note that I'm running XP on Virtual PC 2007 over Windows Vista. So it should run incredibly smoothly. And there is the XP startup sound. And it'll take you to your familiar Windows XP desktop. Now to stop your virtual PC, we'll just hold down the right alt button to release the mouse. We'll go to action, and then close. Now you have two options. You can either turn off the virtual PC, which would simulate a regular Windows shutdown, or you can do a save state option, which you can save your current Windows state so that you don't have to reboot the whole way through and if you have any documents that you're working on they'll still be there so we can take a snapshot of the state as it is right now by hitting OK that'll take a few moments there's a progress bar right here it won't take very long and the, sa the state is saved it'll just say right here XP saved and there's a little snapshot of my window as it was saved and that's pretty much it have fun using your new Microsoft virtual PC 2007 it's a great tool offered free from Microsoft so any questions comments suggestions complaints praises leave them in the comments section right below this video Hope you enjoyed this fantastic freeware feature number two for Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. Thanks for watching.